What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add music to your live streams. Now first thing to point out about music to live streams, they need to be uncopyrighted. So make sure the ones you are going to use are all uncopyrighted. Now I'm going to be showing you two different ways how to add music to your live streams. One is just using YouTube and another is using music downloaded to your computer. Bear in mind the music you use has to be non-copyrighted. So the first way I want to be showing you is how to do this with music you have downloaded on your computer. For this you're going to need a program known as VLC Media Player. Now this is 100% free and as you can see it does work on Windows as well as Mac as well as Linux and of course Android and iOS. So there's a reason you're going to have this program and it will prove useful. So what I'm going to do is X out of it. Once you have downloaded it and once you have music, you can see I have two songs right here. Of course, when you have it, make sure you have a bunch of songs non-copyrighted. Now, the first thing you're going to be doing is selecting one, then right click, select open with, then select choose another app. From here, what we're going to be doing is, of course, selecting VLC Media Player. Yours will be in this list here. Then select always use this app to open MP3 files. From there, select OK. Now, what I'm going to do is highlight my two songs by left clicking and dragging so they're both highlighted. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard so it's going to open the songs up. At the moment, I can hear the songs playing. And for me, I don't want to hear the music when I'm live streaming. If you do, then by all means, you can skip this next step. If you don't want to hear the music, then all you're going to be doing using VLC, you're going to come up to audio at the top left. Then you're going to come to audio device and you're going to select another one instead of default. Now speakers is also my default, but LG is my second monitor. So I'm going to select this and now I can no longer hear the music. The music is still playing, however it is playing through the uh, LG screen which has no speakers. So what we're then going to do is head back over to OBS. Now as you can see it says desktop audio there is no levels. The reason for that, this desktop audio will now be used for your game volume, if you're going to use it. And the way we're going to get our music volume to be shown is coming over to the settings. From the settings tab, you want to head over to the audio tab on the side, and where it says desktop audio device 2, is going to be set to disabled. What you're going to do is change it to the one you have just selected, in my case it's going to be LG, and I'm going to select apply and OK. And as you'll see, Desktop Audio 2 now has some levels to it. That is where the music is playing from. You can see the levels are hitting very low. The reason for that is if I head back over to VLC, the volume was low. So now I'll put it really loud. You can see the levels are now really high. So this is where you have to do some guesswork. If you don't want to hear the music, then all you're going to do is control this bar. So then you know the music isn't going to be too loud and everyone will still be able to hear your voice. So that's the first way of doing it. Again, it just involves VLC Media Player, which is free, and for you to download some non-copyrighted music. Of course, the downside to this, you'll need to go and download a lot of music, and of course, all non-copyrighted, so it's gonna take some time. So here's the second way I'm gonna be showing you how to add music to your live streams. This way is a bit more simpler, simply because you can just type in uh, best non-copyright and then put a genre and add a playlist or mix to the end. As you can see, this is one hour. So it saves us looking through multiple different tracks and downloading them. The downside is if they have ads throughout them, then you're gonna be able to hit ads throughout your video. But anyway, what we're going to be doing from here is we need something known as audio pick. Now this is a free Google Chrome extension. However, it is also available on Firefox. But this does become useful. So we're going to head back over to YouTube and what we're going to be doing, you can see the icon is up here. What we're going to do is left click it and we're then going to pick another speaker. So again, I'm going to pick my LG TV and now I can no longer hear my music, but the music is still playing, of course. So the way we now make it play again, we're going to head back over to OBS and we're going to head over to the settings. Once again, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select audio. And from here, we're going to select desktop audio device 2, and we're going to select our LG speakers. I'm going to select apply, and I'm going to select OK. Now, you can see, there you go, desktop audio 2. Again, the reason it's 
quiet because YouTube is very quiet here. So I'll put that louder. Now full volume. As you can see, the levels are now showing very loud. And then of course it is some guest work if you don't want to hear your audio. So mess with the levels on here. So then your microphone is loud and clear and people are able to hear you. Now also if you are wondering why I have two OBSs open throughout this tutorial is because I'm actually recording OBS to record this OBS tutorial. That's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has come across as useful. If you would like to request a tutorial, just leave it in the comments or ask me on my social media.